Hi guys, welcome again to part 3 of our CFS N4, Computerized Financial Systems N4, where you completed the additional parameters. Now they're going to request to do other things. They may ask you to add a new product or a new a, a service. As you can see here, create the following inventory item. So you have to create this item in the inventory item. So it's got the code the, and all the details are there. They might give you one or two. Most of the time, it's just it's just one. So we're gonna go there and then create it quickly. Where do you create a new inventory? You go to Edit Inventory and then Item File. Edit Inventory Item File. You click there. It's gonna generate a form. This is a form that you complete for every new item in the company when there is a new product or a service. It must be captured so that when they sell it or buy it, it is in the system. And when you arrive here, you're gonna most students make a mistake, they delete, they try to edit the existing one. No, you do not. Because you are adding a new one, you press on add so that you clear the form and then create a new product or a service from scratch. So you are going to capture the code there. I think that they said the code is D-A-L-L, -L, D E L, and you type the description. They will tell you what is the description. I think the description is a, a delivery, delivery, uh, delivery fee, delivery fee, and then you continue to do the whole re the rest of the the item. For example, inventory goods. A, de a delivery is not goods. It is service. Then you select service, and then the unit. You don't count. Uh, delivery by each you can do it by kilometers like km or per kilometer sometimes it's p slash km and then you, you see here it's so quantity and unit and then sales commission you they will tell you whether to tick or untick and then allow tax allow tax for 15 uh, 15 uh, 15 percent tax you must also have have that one and then you're gonna click on you can see here the cost price you don't put the cost price because we go st straight to selling price let's say the cost price is 13 rand press 13 and you you include you put the cost the selling price in the exclusive column and you press the third key is going to calculate the, uh, the, the 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 inclusive amount there okay and then from there if you check the details there it is uh, the code the, the the description the service and then the unit and then you also come here it says physical item no it's not a physical item because you cannot count it it is a service item and then you check you got your price you got all your details correct then you click ok you save it when you save it it goes into the system it is saved there so quick key things it was the code the description per kilometer uh, service item you remove uh, quantity you remove uh, you remove sales commission there and then you go to uh, selling price okay the system want me to 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 complete the form i don't want to complete the form because i'm just repeating it Okay, this is what they required us to do. Description, delivery fee, we did nothing on the inventory group, and then it's a service, there is no discount, none, we did nothing there. Per kilometer, and then quantity we ticked, and we unticked sales commission because there's no sales commission on delivery. And then it's a service item, tick, allow tax, and the price is at 13 Run. So you have captured everything. Always tick the items that you have done so that you do not forget any of the items. So you are done with creating an inventory item. And even with the product, you're going to follow the same form there on the, or, or, or on the inventory items. Guys, up to this point, up to here, all your additional parameters, including adding one item or one service, are complete. We are now going, we are now moving to answering the paper and you're going to get further instruction on how you're going to answer the paper uh, on the, on the transactions 
for much. So they're going to tell you what to do and how to do it. For example, it already says use the source documents and information provided below to below to record transactions in the appropriate journals. Remember, journals are books and generate documents in the books of Pen Cafe. So you're going to generate invoices, you're going to generate text invoices, and you're going to also capture the general journal. So the question paper now, the main part of the question paper is starting here. So we're going to go to it now. Okay, this is my advice. Before you start with the main question, my advice is that you go and revisit the list of the questions that are in your question paper to check the sequence, to check what you need to do first. And then from there you decide because uh, the, the sequence of the questions at the back will guide you. So I'm going to go to the question list at the back quickly so that we advise you properly. Okay, guys, your question paper at the back, almost at the last page, is going to have this list of uh, questions or printer that you need to do. And then you have to look at them, and then you're going to have to, oh, these are all the printers that you are supposed to submit. Let us look at them quickly. The first one says inventory journal. Remember, the, the inventory journal is already loaded but you have to just print it and get yourself a four marks and then the next one they say the general journal batch listing opening balances so remember those balances that we circled there at the ledger you have to enter them and collect your 17 marks so let us stop here for now and then immediately after you do this you can print your trial balance this question right here should take you less than at least 20 minutes let us just quickly go to it remember guys they said capture what inventory journal and they are giving you what they are giving you four marks they're giving you four marks so this is your inventory these are the quantities these are the cost prices and these are the selling prices and these are the descriptions of all and these are the categories so and then these are all the codes to capture this they want you they want uh, uh, they are going to give you four marks for that and where do you capture it? you need to know where to capture it and how to capture it i'm going to just show you a sample and then i'm going to move from it you capture it and print it but if it's already done for you you can just go and retrieve it and print it where do you capture inventory journal you go to process and then you're going to have inventory journals then you can it is more like your stock ledger card you can see there it's got inventory code you need and then uh, narrations so you you select the product and then it's already put you the description the most important thing is there it's quantities if you can see there it's already put 50 for for me there because it's already in the system and then if i put another 50 there it's going to double because these items were already added into the system so it's going to make it 100 hence i'm saying if it's already there if it's not there you're gonna when you capture the transaction it's not gonna have 50 it's gonna have zero then you go under the in and capture the quantity there so you're gonna capture all those transactions uh, those stock items in here and then you're gonna up, uh, you're gonna print after printing then you update you print first then you update so what are the key things here the key things are your quantities and then also the the correct narrations and then also select the correct product it's got the code there these columns must be cor correct especially the quantity because then you can overstock and when you print if it's 100 instead of 50 you're going to lose your four marks on this one okay this will be your part three come with me to part 
Eh,